Hey y'all, it's Michael. So, um, since we're basically gonna be just stuck here at the house, <laughs> especially this weekend for me, um, I guess I'll vlog. I mean, there really ain't gonna be doing nothing. What I thought I would start doing is incorporating, um, with these, like, uh, vlogs that I would do maybe give more, um, like, thoughts and like reviews or like make more thoughts on the nonfiction books that I'm reading so that way I can actually incorporate that part instead of make, making a separate video. I'll let y'all know about those books in a few minutes. Um, right now, me and Mayel, we're just gonna go hang out in the front yard. <laughs> Basically, long story short, um, we can't really go anywhere. I posted something on my own. Um, Snapchat and my um, Instagram story the other day and people thought we were at the park first off we are not going to the park okay that's like awful <laughs> to go right literally at the park right now in this time no um it was just actually my front yard <laughs> we actually have a pretty big backyard and a big front yard so some people thought we were at the park and I was like no <laughs> we're in our front yard so yeah actually now I think about it making this intro she's taking a while uh using the restroom i'm gonna go check and make sure she washes her hand hands because sometimes you know you gotta tell them that Ooh, y'all this is beautiful footage look at it Ooh. wait who these are my friends your friends yeah there's no one right here that's enough uh-uh can you give me my drink please what the? What the? <laughs> What's that? Me with skinny legs. <gasps> wow! What? Did you say I have skinny legs? <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. Mm-hmm. I didn't say nothing. This is for y'all in case y'all um into the foot thing. You know, some people love love feet, Maya. Did you know that? Like they're into feet. That's my other foot right there. Uh-uh. That's my foot. You better stop. <laughs> can you go get my camera for me, please? Be careful. Why? So I can stop it recording. What? Just be careful with it. Hold it with both hands. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, get those so you can blow it. Ready? Wow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my gosh! You should have. Can we do another one? Oh, there's one right there. there. Oh, okay. Did you make a wish? Yes. You can't tell me what your wish is though. I'm right behind you. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Thank you! Tell her Domo Arigato! Salamat po! Y'all, this thing is so good. Like, huh? Come on! Y'all, this thing is so good. Yes. Pose, pose for me. Oh my God, y'all, these these pictures I just took right now are just so beautiful. Yes, <laughs> your mom does that. <laughs> We're back from just walking around the neighborhood just because we can't really do anything. So I thought I would talk to y'all about the books I'm going to be reading this weekend. Uh, so first off, I am still reading every once in a while. The Brothers Karamazov, as you know, I didn't bring it out here because I was just like, I mean, you know I'm reading it. Okay, so I'm also reading for my short story collection currently right now, How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. I am really happy that I went to the library before it's closed so I can go get like books because I actually don't have a lot of short story collections um, in my personal library. So it was a godsend. They're extending all the um, the due dates. Well, we don't have fines at my library, but they're extending the due dates for all of them. So I was like, thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I am doing a short story collection review on this. Uh, so check it out whenever that is. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. The nonfiction that I'm currently reading right now, I'll talk more about this in a minute is um, The Undying by Anne Boyer. I did currently finish um, 
The Yellow House by Sarah M. Broom. I'll talk more about this because I feel like there's so many distractions. There's the lawn mowing, people walking around, there's bees everywhere. But um, currently, The Undying by Anne Boyer. This is actually really interesting. Um, this is about Boyer who basically was diagnosed with um, breast cancer. Um, and so she's, this is basically essentially a memoir. The thing though is it is written really different. I have actually never read a nonfiction like this. It's written in this very like poemish versus way. Um, I'm actually liking it. Like it's, I, the thing though is I could tell this will not be for everybody. I can tell you that now, but I just really like the the verse aspect of it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep reading it tonight. Good morning, first off. Basically this morning, um, all I did was file my taxes and then that's about it. So, and I took a shower. <laughs> that's about it. Nothing special here. Look what I found. Okay, so <laughs> it's an eggplant. So um, actually a while back, I tried to make this eggplant that I saw on this um, website uh, for uh, like on YouTube and whatnot, this like eggplant miso base type of recipe. So I bought an eggplant. Unfortunately, it was bad. Like it was moldy inside, unfortunately. It was like, it was just bad. So <laughs> my mom finally got me another eggplant because I bought one yesterday. I was like, oh, so I'm gonna try this recipe again. And I'm gonna try to make this like cooking style video. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna play around. It could be technically vegan because everything here is um yeah it could technically be vegan. Okay, good so far. Uh y'all look who's here. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Nowhere. Get inside. Oh, I was like, come in. Okay, then bye. Wow, this is nice. All right, now I'll wait for it for simmer. Okay, here we go. So like, I also put some, um, like a chili sauce on top. I'm gonna eat it with rice, obviously, because, <laughs> duh. Maybe you might need some more chili sauce. Hmm. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Hmm. Hmm. I first thought that was too salty, but I think the chili sauce really did something to it. It's really pretty good. Want to taste it, Misha? I'm gonna watch little fires everywhere now, huh? Oh yeah. She can't. She, she might be she's pregnant. Because I, I've been doing them in batches, uh, but I'm gonna about to film video like a clip for the next short stories that I've been reading in here. This one um, is The Effluent Engine. This one is actually really cool. This is about Jessalyn and it's like this spy adventure. Um Are you over there? Do I hear you? Oh my goodness. I'm using my camera to see over the fence. What are you doing? There they are. Y'all see them? Y'all see these kids? Mayel, get down! Be careful. Hi, bye bye. Uh, Sunday morning now. Um, 
Yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> I did read uh, for a little bit, um, but I thought today I would just basically, well, I'm staying at home, but I need to shave. Uh, it's getting a little rowdy right here, so I need to shave because it's, it's a little... Mm. And apparently I think like hair salons and barbershops and stuff are clothed, so I need to see because I can feel my hair is like about, it's about to grow fast because my hair grows fast in general. But yeah, I think that I'm going to take a shower, cook some breakfast. That's about it. Nothing really today. <laughs> Quarantine life. All right, so I made some lunch. Um, it was like one of those box pasta type of things. Now, is this for one person? I don't know, because this bowl, y'all, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's like a huge bowl. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to eat it all, though. <laughs> I'm really hungry for some odd reason. Of course, with some sweet tea, and I put a lemon in there. Now, I'm watching this show called Ares. Um, I started watching it a while back because I saw some people posting about it, and it was like, oh, it's really scary. Um... It's not. Like, I've seen more scary years stuff. But I'm just gonna finish it. I've only got like three more episodes left, so yeah, just about that. And then afterwards, what if. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read afterwards. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, um, all I've been doing, well, I read for a couple of minutes and then I watched some TV, but washed some dishes. That's about it. Nothing really special. Um, as you can tell, in kinda here, uh, it's raining right now, so it's like really low key. Nothing's really going on. Um, it's just one of those lazy, rainy days, and it's even <laughs> more exaggerated because I can't go anywhere. So yeah, right now what I'm gonna do is actually film like the next clip for um, my review for this short story collection. And then afterwards, I was thinking of actually just editing. Um, I need to catch up on my editing. I'm really behind on it. So that's what I'm gonna do afterwards. And then after that, I think I'm gonna start, I don't know, dinner. <laughs> Afterwards, I'm gonna watch my Sunday shows, which I really love because Westworld, love. And then there's Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then afterwards, um, there's this show on there called uh, Family Karma, which I really like. Like, I don't know why I like it so much, but it's about um, a group of Indian families in Miami. And it's just about their lives. I just, I don't know what about it. I, I just really like it. It's like funny, but it has this dra drama with the aunties. I don't know, I really like it. Look y'all, look at the weather. It's just, <laughs> the weather here is always wild because it's like, it just changes so fast. All right y'all, so I'm gonna just gonna make this my goodbye clip. I wanted to talk to more about the nonfiction books that I am reading. Now, these two books that I did recently, nonfiction books that I recently just read, kind of have a um, connection to each other. They're more about um, like uh, memoir-ish, the, the first one is um the yellow house by sarah m broom that one is basically about broom's life like her whole family i actually really liked it um i love the pictures in the beginning but then for some reason the pictures just stopped as the stories went along and i was like oh okay and at the end i, I really did enjoy it it was really her life was actually um really interesting uh but personally for me there were some parts that i was just like okay um Mm. Why, why I'm holding this book? It's like a personal thing for me. One of my things that I don't like about um, books is when they give you directions. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a little thing that is like a personal preference. Um, for some odd reason, I just don't like it. Like, and in this, they gave she gave a lot of uh, Broom gives a lot of like descriptions using directions, and I was just like, uh, my mind just could. I was like, oh, what's going on? But overall, I did find it um, really interesting, and that is actually goes with this what i'm currently reading right now which is the undying by ann boyer uh this is so interesting in the sense that i'm not sure how i feel about it yet um, i'm currently on page 160 it goes really fast but the thing is it's written really interestingly now okay so let me say this i love incredible writing okay i just love great writing styles also like i love figuring out a author's writing style. If you, if you watch me for a while, you know that I can gravitate towards someone's writing style and that like really makes me love that author even more. With this, this is really interesting because it's written in like a very verse kind of way. It's still technically prose, but it's written in, it has this verse tone to it, um, which is interesting because Boyer is actually a professor. She teaches essentially poetry. Um, so I can see where it is. And there are some moments in here where it is beautiful beautifully written but i think sometimes there are parts in here where it i feel as though the the writing style doesn't serve the message or like doesn't actually 
have doesn't co isn't is it cohesive enough to the point that um Boyer is making like there's some parts where I was like uh, it's like it's like oil and I was just cooking it's like oil and water it's just I was just like oh, oh, oh. like it's just like mm, just not meshing well together that's what I am a little bit fighting about but the, when it this is one of those books where when it hits it hits there are some parts in here where it's like about history the journey i guess you, yeah i guess you could call it the journey of having um breast cancer i think it is really interesting those parts were really enlightening if anything um and i'm i'm excited to see how i feel about it at the end let me know what y'all doing during this time i'd be interested if anything <laughs> i would love to receive comments until then i'll see you guys till next time bye